All right, what's going on, everybody? I hope everybody is having a tremendous Sunday. Uh, we have a few things to go over. The season has ended. And uh, as you can see, we hold the best record in baseball by far, seven games ahead of the Los Angeles Dodgers. And um, no team in the AL really comes close to us. We won 103 games. Okay, uh, let's go down the lineup. As you can see here, Ronald Acuna had kind of a rough year. He uh, just couldn't get over that 200 and, uh, 250 mark. And uh, it's easily the probably the worst year of his career, worst year since uh, 2020, the shortened season. But uh, he still finished with a 3.1 war. But really, that's nothing to be uh, proud of with this guy, the ratings he has. He should be our best hitter uh, year in and year out. Matt Olson had a similar year to last year, uh, just a little less power, but uh, he missed a few games. I gave him a week off um, after he uh, suffered a, uh, I think it was a knee injury, so I didn't want that to uh, aggravate. So, uh, you know, he had, a, he had a pretty good year. Uh, let's look at his war. He's a 3.3, uh, way better than that uh, 2023 year, which is just so frustrating. Austin Riley had an Austin Riley type year, 38 bombs, 105 RBIs. 5.5 war, so that's the best uh, season of his career so far, and he finished third in the MVP voting, as you'll see in a second. Willie Adamas uh, finished uh, batting over 300 for the first time in his career. I'm really proud of that. Uh, I was hoping he'd uh, show up in the MVP uh, standings, but he just, uh, I guess, just didn't, uh, wasn't producing enough runs. He has 77 RBIs, but 5.3 war is still the best year of his career by far. Uh, let's see, Matt Chapman uh, had a big bounce back year. I uh, predicted this. Uh, he had 24 homers, 66 RBIs last year, 149 games. This year he played 155 games, 35 homers, 97 RBIs. He was taking his walks. He got on base. He had 830 OPS. And uh, that 4.3 war is a, a, a full win above last season. It's not the 7.7 .7 he had in his contract year, but, you know, those uh, seasons are few and far between. It's probably one of the greatest seasons of all time if you dig deep into the numbers. Okay, Jock Peterson um, had had a great year as our DH, splitting time with uh, Trey Mancini. As you can see here, Mancini had 282, 12 homers, 48 RBIs. He had a two even war. So did Jock Peterson. 21 homers, 76 RBIs, 290 average, and 449 at bats. Ozzy Albies had the best, uh, well, probably second best season of his career. He uh, almost finished at, uh, with a 300 uh, batting average, 29 homers, 101 RBIs. I believe he had the highest war on the team. Yep, 6.5. And uh, it's a little uh, tenth of a percentage point uh, lower than last year. Okay, let's see. Uh, Sean Murphy had kind of a rough year, which uh, I'm okay with. You know, he's um, he got kind of banged up a little bit earlier in the year. And I fully expect him to bounce back. He still has 2.1 more because of the defense. He'll bounce back next year. I, I uh, think he's a candidate to be like uh, Matt Olson and uh, Matt Chapman. He'll have a bounce back. Uh, Michael Harris, uh, 20 homers, uh, 51 RBIs. He missed a few games. Um, yeah, the injuries really, the injury bug really bit us this year. 261 average, 304 on base. Uh, we still had 3.7 more because of the uh, tremendous defense. Orlando RC had a good year. Uh, glad I signed him in that extension. Uh, Alberto Zambrano, this is our catcher of the future. You can see his numbers here. He had a good year, almost uh, a full point of, or win of war. Uh, he's going to take Travis Darno's spot next year. This is Travis. He hardly played at all this year. Cats has played 32 games. You know, he, was, he helped us, but uh, I think this is it for him. He's 36, last year of his contract, so I thank him for his service. Uh, let's look at the pitching. A.J. smith Shaver, I believe, should be Rookie of the Year, but he won't be. 12-7, and 7, uh, 120 innings, 22 innings uh, 104 strikeouts, 38 walks, with a 2.4 war. I couldn't have asked for more out of him. I think I handled it perfectly, taking it slow with him. Spencer Strider finished uh, with the league leading strikeouts. Garrett Whitlock, uh... 195 innings, almost got his 200 innings. Kyle Wright got 200 innings. Max Reed pitched his 200 innings. So they're uh, earning their contracts. Jack Flaherty is going to be gone after this year. He had a good contract year. So he's going to make some money somewhere. Um, Tyler Matzik, uh, Tanner Houck was not good for us. He had an ERA uh, around that, and it didn't come down at all. We uh, traded for him like at the deadline, so I don't think he's going to make the postseason roster. Bryce Elder, pretty good year. Nick Sandlin, bad year. I'm hoping he can be a bounce back candidate. I signed him that extension, and I hope he's not gonna, gonna let me down. Dylan Lee had a great year. Sam Hinges had a good year. Camilo Doval is had a great year. He's gonna be our uh, closer going forward. I look forward to seeing how he can handle the pressure of the postseason. All right, and let's uh, finish this up by looking at the awards. Juan Soto in uh, San Francisco won the MVP. Austin Riley finished third. Uh, Cy Young, Sandy Alcantara. 
uh, Kyle Wright and Spencer Strider finish second and third. Love that. I hope next year they can take the step and go ahead and win that thing. Uh, Willie Adams third in the MVP, uh, or MVP, Hank Aaron Award, which I believe is the best hitter. Uh, Sean Murphy uh, finished third in Gold Glove. Ozzy finished second in Gold Glove. Ronald finished second in Gold Glove. We have, I think we have some Silver Slugger winners. Yeah, uh, Matt also won the Silver Slugger at first. Ozzy won the Silver Slugger at second. Matt Chapman won the Silver Slugger at third. Uh, Willie finished third. Um, Austin Riley won it in left field. And uh, all these we haven't got to yet. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I appreciate all of your support through these uh, three years. Um, I hope uh, you uh, stay tuned for the uh, postseason. That's coming up. I think we have a really good chance to repeat his chance, but it's going to be a tough road. I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays out. Um, I appreciate all of you. Have a good rest of your weekend and good upcoming week, and take it easy.